G'day. I'm going to make mallets out of pallets. Now, last video where I made, what I make? I used the lathe. Can't even remember what I made. Fair dinkum. Duff, Wood Jinx 21. Uh, the Pink Panther, it only got a cameo. It was a video before that where I made my mallet. Okay, I wanna make more mallets, and I know I said I probably wouldn't use this lathe again because it is very limiting. It's not unsafe, but it's poorly designed and, well, it's only good for a little bit of fun. Um, but however, I need to raise some coins for the big lathe. So I'm gonna make some more mallets and sell those. Um, this is just pallet wood. I've turned down a handle, I turn the end down. And then, just doing some testing. So I've got the two diameter holes here, one for the dow to go right through, and the second one for the mallet to actually slide inside. But once the mallet's turned round, I'll have a nice, neat join. So I've got to make sure that's deep enough so you don't see the flat head of the mallet against the curve of the mallet head. Check it out, there's a mallet. Who wants to buy that one? There goes mallet number two. David Kelly, this one's gonna be yours, mate. Who's gonna know? Okay, I forgot to film the back end of number two, so I'll try and pick that up on this one. Uh, I just gotta watch how I use my chisels, um, just so I don't get this sort of business happening. So if you're here to learn skills on the lathe, this is probably not the right place I'm learning um, and you may see things that freak you out so feel free to tell me nicely down below uh, I forgot to film the back end again but um, it's not that exciting to be honest I'm gonna run the gauntlet I'm gonna stick the licorice all sorts on rough turn this one um, because I've got to move all this crap to cut some more handle blanks so I'll just take my time with this these are uh, a lot harder to turn, especially for a newbie, so wish me luck. Alrighty, uh, quick update. So I've got two variants here. Um, now these have the dowel running through the middle, so I took this one back to the original 19 mil dowel. Uh, I'll stick a, um, what are they called? A mallet blank onto that one and then turn it as one. I was getting a bit carried away, but then I remembered all the things I learned from my mallet making, just rough it out and then put it on as one blank. Uh, for this one, I've basically turned a nice chunky dowel, leave that as is, get the mallet head on top again turn it as one hopefully don't come across as many problems as i have in the past i've got three pallet handles three colorful ones i'll hopefully get some more of these see how we go i'm going to do some sanding because i like it so that's all i have to say about that i like sanding it's cool
So I'm gonna use um, Scott's Custom Grit. Again, I really love this stuff, but it really does bring up the timber just nicely. Uh, it's two-step, love it. Rambling, let's put it on. Alrighty, two-stage. Nice and shiny, nice and smooth. Um, these are actually full of borer holes from somewhere in the world, but they're not there now, so. All right, T-shirt sponsor shout out is Tim Greenwood from Turkworks. Uh, he is a pommy, but that's okay. Uh, if you uh, want to support him, he has a website. You can order all sorts of t-shirts, shipping all over the world. Thanks very much, mate. Much appreciated. Pallet, mallet, heads. Um, now, because of some of the limitations of this lathe, it's a little bit annoying to do small stuff because the tail stock and the, what's that thing called? The banjo. Um, they actually hit underneath, shits me. So I'm gonna make two mallet heads at the same time so that I can basically space the tail stock away. Alrighty, check it out, I'm making double-handed mallets. It's a first. Seen it here first, all right. <laughs> right, got the first blank on. Holes prepped, all that good stuff, as you, as you just seen. Um, so again, slow and steady. I'll get it round, make sure the lathe can handle it, for starters. And then I'll work on making two heads at a time. Because who doesn't need two heads? Right, yeah. Uh, last one. It's a bit of a uh, shit fight. I'm not going to trim any corners off. I'm just going to put my big boy pants on, as Dale told me, and just turn the thing round. This end grain one's been a real bastard. Um, I was just cleaning it up and I copped a little chip, but I don't want to go any deeper, so I've glued that one back on. I'll buff it up, see if it's all good, finish shaping, and be happy days with that one. Got some little furniture tags. The beauty of these things is you get to hide how some things aren't perfectly in the center which I'm happy with because it's the outside that matters. Eight mallets on the Pink Panther. Uh, it was a learning curve. Now, Wedge has just gone in the last one here, but they're all now done. I'm pretty stoked with them. Like this, this Merbu pallet wood is actually pretty cool. With a bit of sanding, it doesn't take a lot um, to make it look pretty sweet. Uh, got Scott's custom grit, polished all those up really nicely. So. 
that's it. Um, like I said, it's been a learning experience. I'm going to sell these. They'll be on my website. Um, so go and have a gander if you like. Uh, I'm not going to be selling them for a heap of cash. This is purely to learn something, but put that money into the fund, a new lathe for me fund. And uh, hot off the press. I'm just about there and I'm actually looking at picking up a lathe real soon. All right. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, you're probably not here to learn about the lathe. That's for sure. <laughs> you might have seen that a little cheap piece of machinery. You can still do some cool, fun stuff and have a bit of a go. So that's what this was about for me. I'm fully addicted now, so I'm going all in on the lathe. All right. Catch you later.